Okay, let's talk about weight loss. As if this hasn't been talked about enough. You think they would have figured it out by now? Well, actually, it has been figured out. But the problem is there's too much misinformation and half-truths. Those are the real tricky ones, half-truths. Not only are people still talking about which foods make you fat and the carbs versus fat argument, but there's another myth going around that I hear a lot. People say, calories in, calories out. And what they're referring to is the idea that if you take in more calories than you burn, you will put on weight in the form of fat storage. And they say that if you expect to lose weight eating more calories than you burn, what I like to call eating all you want, then you, you would be de defying the laws of physics, which you cannot do. Before I explain why this is not true, I'd like to show you by using myself as an example. For the last 22 years, I've eaten a diet based on grains and fruit. And it's important to mention that this is whole grains and whole fruit. In the 90s, I was eating somewhere around 3,000 calories a day and on into the 2000s. It was at that point where I wasn't exercising at all. These days, on a raw food diet, I'm only getting about 2,500 calories. But this is still more than most experts recommend. So after all that eating, let's see just how fat I am. Also, I do not do any aerobics. It, it's been about 10 years. I prefer light bike riding and lifting weights, calisthenics type of exercise. So, am I defying the laws of physics? And I'm not just one person. Everyone who eats like me is thin. Even eating three or four thousand calories a day. Now I will explain why this is a myth. It turns out this this concept, calories in out, is overly simplistic. And there's a lot more to it. The body has a wisdom and it only puts on fat when it has a need to or when the body is confused. One reason the body puts on fat storage is so it has a place for all of the toxins that are in modern diets and the environment. One reason the body gets confused is when you eat carbs and fat together which you do not find in nature. Either a food is high in fat or it is high in carbohydrates. And another reason why the body puts on fat is for emergencies. You've given your body the impression that there is not enough food at certain times and it will protect itself by storing calories for those times. This is called dieting. And it's the big reason diets don't work. If you don't give your body a reason to put on fat, it will burn it off. 
you don't have to exercise to burn it off. It will burn it off. It will generate heat. And it will leave your body as heat. You may have noticed that when you eat, sometimes when you eat, you will warm up. This is a process called thermogenesis. I looked all this up on the net to see if anyone's talking about it. And here's what I found. I was trying to find where the internet will stay. The body burns off extra excess calories using this global character. And look what I found. What does the body do with excess calories? Excess calories are stored as fat. Excess calories that are ingested over and above the body's requirements are stored as fat. Regardless of whether or not, yada, yada, yada. If you feed the body excess calories, junk food, do not exercise, the body will gain weight. Excess calories, no matter where they originate from, will be stored as fat. Excess calories are converted to, into fat, period. Period. <laughs> Is it true that excess carbohydrates get stored as fat? Yes. Yes. Both those yeses are wrong. Carbs turn into sugar, correct, and sugar turns into fat. No, sugar turns into energy. Medical dictionary. Thermogenesis. Diet-induced thermogenesis, a portion of dietary calories in excess of those required for immediate energy environments are converted to heat rather than stored as fat. And then I went to YouTube, my favorite site, and, and see what they had to say about excess calories. Let's see, you got a couple ads here. And so the first real video is here. Now let's see what this fat person has to say. I got it all queued up there. A couple points, a couple of parts here I want to play. I have a question about cheat days. I give myself one day a week out of ten days, well, a week or ten days, to eat whatever I want. I estimate I take in between 6K to 8K calories compared to my 2100 to 2300 on regular days. I'm 6'2", 230, my body fat is 14%. Is Still trying to rid my love handles and lower belly fat. Or belly fat. Still I don't trying. Time. My question is, what the fuck happens to the excess calories? So the person writing in is 6'2 and weighs 230, something, no, something like that. So he's overweight and trying to lose weight. And his plan is eating about 2,200 calories a day. And every few days he eats 6,000 calories. Well, first of all, that's not a plan. That's your body jumping off the wagon when it's going in the wrong direction. Gary, enjoy your cheat meal. It's only going to help. It's the two steps forward, one step back. But sometimes if you don't take that one step back, you ain't going to take more steps forward. kind of tricks your body into thinking you're not dieting. 